In this section, we will cover how we can install or set up the Linux operating system on our Windows machine with the help of VirtualBox, which is a free tool to use. And in this uh, video, we will cover uh, two Linux distribution, which is uh, Ubuntu and Linux CentOS. So let's get started. Simply search download VirtualBox for Windows on Google. So click on their official website, which is virtualbox.org download section. And on the left side, you will see Windows host because we want to install it on Windows. So I will click on the Windows host. And just save it. So it will be saved in my download folder. So download has been completed and I will just go to my download folder. I can see the installer. I will double click on the installer to install it and it will ask you for the permission to make the changes on the system i will allow it and uh, then it will start installing on our system like this just click on the next next and uh, i accept the license and the next next and uh, you will see the warning and just click on the yes and yes if you want to i mean it, it will install the dependencies as well and just install it it will take uh, uh, while so installation is completed and uh, I will just click on the finish button now to start the virtual box just type virtual box in your search bar and you will see the Oracle virtual box just open it and it will open like this so now our next step is to download the uh, Linux CentOS ISO file and then we will create the virtual machine to set it uh, up with the Linux CentOS. Simply search on Google CentOS ISO download and here you will see official website centos.org download section just click on it you will see two different section or uh, sorry of uh, the version 9 or 10 so of course we will go with the latest which is the 10 and end of life you can see it is in 2030 so we are good to go so i will choose uh, 8664 uh, for the windows and i will just click on the mirrors to download and just save it in the download folders just save and uh, the size of the file will be large uh, i think six to seven gigs if uh, as you can see 7.6 uh, gb so it will take some time once the iso file is successfully downloaded go back to the virtual box and our next step will be creating a new virtual machine so that on the top of which we can install our linux and us so i will click on the new button because we are creating a new virtual machine and you can give any name i will give uh, CentOS. After this, just select a folder on your location where VM will be set up. It will take some space, uh, so better to uh, pick or choose a folder in the D drive. So I'm going with the D drive. Just I have created a folder virtual box. So I will select that folder. That's it. And then I will go into the hardware section. Okay, I can just skip this. In hardware section, you can specify how much CPU and the RAM you need to specify. I think I can go with the default. Uh, 2 GB is enough and the hard disk which is the 20 GB. It is uh, already specified. So we are good with the 20 GB for the practice and the testing purpose. So I will click on the finish and our virtual machine, the small machine is created. Now, uh, I will just start this machine. So you can just imagine or uh, visualize is as a hardware, but it is a virtual hardware or virtual machine actually. So it is now booting up. So the first time when we are uh, booting or starting the machine, uh, it will look for the operating system. So it will ask you for the ISO file. So I will just select the CentOS ISO file, which we just recently downloaded in the download folder. You can see the CentOS stream file, which we just downloaded mount and retry boot. So it will now take that ISO file and try to boot the machine with the CentOS Linux. And here uh, you can see different option. You can use up and down arrow keys and I will go to the first option and install Linux CentOS. 
okay after some time it will ask you for selecting a language for the virtual machine okay so i will just select uh, select the english language okay so for the first time you will see this prompt you can just ignore it and uh, agree to capture so english and in type of english so okay so english india in this case okay so you just need to take action on the red ones uh, you are seeing after this so i will click on the first one which is the location so double click on the 20 gb and then click on the done so it is done now i will click on uh, the root account and uh, enable root account just you need to give the root password so i will give root root i mean uh, you just give the simple because we are using it for the testing and allow ssh for login and just click on the done that's it so it will enable your root account at least one user you will be having to start with and just click on the continue after this it will take some time so please have patience once the installation is completed you will see the option of reboot the system just click on the reboots all right so our linux centos operating system is uh, ready to use okay after this uh, click on the start setup just a first time one time setup okay location service i will just disable because we are using it for the testing purpose next and it is asking for a uh, user creation because uh, we only created the root user so we can just create one more so i will uh, create a sample or test user you can uh, create any so i will just give name paul paul username and full name that's it and next and set a password so i will keep again the same password for this user as well just to remember easily so i will just give a root root password same as the root user yeah that's it you can give any password simple password as well and root and uh, root and uh, next all right so everything is done and you are good to go and start using the centos operating system okay so if you are thinking like uh, how to use this because you are not seeing anything on this window so just click on the windows key on your dashboard okay i will just uh, skip this tour let's skip it and yeah let's do it uh, one more time okay so just click on the windows key on your dashboard so you will uh, see some uh, option uh, so you can see some pre default uh, uh, apps including uh, firefox uh, web browser you you can also see a logo of terminal so i will just click on it and you will see a terminal like this so first of all i will change uh, the theme to dark theme so that i can uh, use it properly and i will just uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see properly okay so here is your uh, important linux terminal where you can execute your all the linux queries practice the different linux commands and uh, scripting etc from here like ls to see or list down the you know files and folders host name to see the name of your servers uh, which is the vworks right now and so on so from here from this point you are good to go and start using the linux to download the ubuntu iso simply search download ubuntu iso on google and just search it and you will see their official website which is ubuntu.com ubuntu desktop download uh, the section and here we will select the LTS which is a long term support variation which is the 24 version okay so just click on the download button okay just uh, save the file in your download folder and uh, the size of the file will be around uh, 6 GB so it will take time so please have patience and before setting up uh, the virtual machine and the Ubuntu, uh, you can have a look into the system requirement for the Ubuntu, uh, which is uh, 4 GB system memory, so 4 GB RAM at least, and 25 GB of free uh, hard drive space will be needed, and two core uh, CPUs will be required. So, uh, when creating the virtual machine, try to keep these requirements in mind. Okay, so now to set up Ubuntu, I need to create a separate and new virtual machine. So I will click on the new, give this machine a name as Ubuntu to differentiate. 
and selecting a folder which I have already created in the D drive because you can see my C drive is almost full so you can uh, just create uh, any uh, folder that's it after this I will click on the hardware section okay and as we have already covered so I will uh, increase the RAM to 4096 which will be uh, 4 GB and the hard disk will be 25 GB which is by default okay and I think everything is set up okay so from here itself you can select the ISO file so I will cl click on the ISO file and select the Ubuntu ISO file which we have already downloaded and in this case you can select the unattended install section and there is already a user you can see you can set a password so I will just give a simple password which is root root that's it and click on the next and finish button so it will boot uh, your uh, new virtual machine which is the Ubuntu machine with the Ubuntu ISO file so here you can see the option of uh, try and install the Ubuntu okay so it will by default you know take take it and boot with the Ubuntu and it is kind of uh, faster than the CentOS you will notice and after uh, very quickly quick time you will see uh, see here you go uh, the Ubuntu is started loading okay so after a while it will ask you for entering the password and uh, the default user we have created while creating the virtual machine so I just entered the root password we have set initially and after a while all right so here you go our uh, Ubuntu operating system is uh, ready to use and it is starting with the initial setup so I will simply click on the next and uh, then next again and just uh, I will just skip for now and uh, no okay next and yeah that's it so we are all set okay click on the windows key on your dashboard to start uh, searching and just type the terminal and open your terminal like this and uh, I will just quickly uh, increase the size so you can uh, also see it properly okay so here you go your terminal is ready so feel free to practice and use or run any Linux command here so you can practice and learn a lot of commands on the Ubuntu and uh, you will find most of the commands in the Linux distribution are remain same uh, just only difference with some you know installation process etc that's it